It's currently like 4.30 in the morning and we made it to Orlando Airport. You see the beautiful Christmas tree behind me here and I'm really surprised. I, re I thought that there was going to be a ton of people here so we left a little earlier this morning. We're about an hour and a half away from the airport where I live and so we left our house about 2.30 and we made our way down and of course obviously it's Christmas morning there was no traffic on the streets whatsoever we breezed through security now we're just here hanging out uh, waiting for our flight to Atlanta we've got a we've got a two-leg flight um, unfortunately I, there wasn't a direct flight that I could get from Orlando to Portland Oregon so we've got to fly to Atlanta and then we'll take a leg from Atlanta to Portland so fortunately we only have two versus you know three or four that would suck so bad but um, I'm more awake than I expected to be especially this early in the morning so we're gonna hang out wait for the plane and uh, then we'll make our way to Atlanta Would you believe it is 40 degrees colder here? When we left the house this morning, it was 70 degrees in Port Orange. Here it is 30 degrees, which is incredible. It's not that far away. I can't even imagine how cold it's going to be in Portland. shuttle for the rental car here at the Portland Airport and it's absolutely freezing out here. I did bring a heavy coat. Um, I'm not sure that I was mentally prepared for this, but I think we'll be all right. So we made it up the mountain and we're at a place now called Government Camp, Oregon, where it's um, right at the base of Mount Hood. And as you can see, the, the scenery here is just, it's, it's breathtaking. And we lived in Northern California for a while and, um, and we went to Lake Tahoe a lot. And this is very reminiscent of that, but there are some differences too. You know, the, the foliage and, and just the way everything looks is a little different, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I was told that right up here, um, when it's clear you can see Mount Hood kind of peeking up above the trees and so I'm hoping that maybe even tomorrow things clear up and and we can uh, we can let you guys see that I'm incredibly stoked and blessed to be here with my family um, this has been an interesting Christmas because we haven't uh, we've never like I said before you know it's been 24 years since we've done anything different other than be home on Christmas morning so this is really rad to be here with my family and to experience this together and we're gonna go snowboarding tonight um, right down the hill I'll show you guys that uh, there's a place called Ski Bowl where we're gonna go ride tonight they they do night skiing and I was just talking to one of the neighbors here he says that this is the only place in North America where you can actually ski or snowboard year-round so up on Mount Hood I suppose he said even in July you can ride so that's pretty rad but let me show you guys around town
this rad little chalet that you see behind me is where we're going to be staying for the next couple of nights up here while we're snowboarding. And the place is pretty sweet. So I'm actually on the ski lift at Ski Bowl. Uh, this is our first night of snowboarding and this is actually my third trip up so man we are having a blast this place is incredible the runs are really long and wide and um, there's a lot of really cool people here a lot of really great riders too but this is it's it's like a winter wonderland here it's uh it's almost like it's not even real it seems it seems like it's fake in a sense but it's absolutely gorgeous we're having a blast um, i'm up here riding with both of my kids my daughter and my son and uh, tomorrow when we go uh, actually do some more riding I think we're gonna go to a different um, to a different resort but I've got some little cameras we're gonna take with us up there to uh, to go and ride so if you want to look up where we're at I'm going to post a link down below um, to Mount Hood Ski Bowl if you're thinking about a trip to uh, to this area, you're thinking about a trip to Mount Hood, I totally recommend this place. So day one is a wrap. Um, we have had an absolute blast here on the mountain, and this black crap that you see all over my face is my gloves. Um, unfortunately, when you leave snowboarding stuff in your garage in Florida, it's so hot that your stuff starts to deteriorate. So if you're a skier or if you're a snowboarder and um, you live in Florida, don't keep your stuff in the garage. Keep your stuff in your closet in your house or something like that. Um, I, I have had an absolute blast. I, I can't even believe that I'm here and, and just being with my kids and spending some time on the mountain has just been an absolute pleasure. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging with me on this and checking this out. Um, next couple of days we're going to be doing some more riding and having some fun so stick around and check those out um, I'm going to try my hardest to get some uploads out um, so I don't have to save it all till I get home and then do this super long video but um, man I've had a blast and uh, it's it's been a real pleasure to spend some time up here and to get away from from my normal you know my normal is Florida and skate parks and that kind of stuff and uh, this is way outside the norm for me so man god bless you guys uh, thanks for checking out my videos be sure to subscribe and share my stuff with your friends um, I really appreciate it and if there's anything that I can do to pray for you guys if you need somebody to connect with um, if you need somebody to to pray for you or just somebody to talk to I would love to be there for you and everybody on the wisdom skateboard team would love to be there for you as well so feel free to connect with us um, here on this youtube channel on our instagram pages um, on our main wisdom instagram as well as my backstage with tinker or even our individual team pages everybody on the team would love to connect with you i love you guys god bless